Hello, um, we're here to check into our rooms. Sure. And is it okay if I have two keys? Yeah, I'm gonna make two keys. Okay. Typically with more than one night, I eat. Everybody on Two Oak Mines, this is my brother. What's your name? We have to do What's your name? Brian. Brian? How do you spell that? It's like Ryan with a B. And when did you get here? 1991. Guess what? No, no, when do you get here? <laughs> this is San Francisco. <laughs> So we got upgraded to the 17th floor, so we're gonna head up to the elevators right now because I'm trying to be bougie this whole trip. 17th floor, we're going up right now. Here we go, you guys. Oh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at this view. We have a room on the 17th floor. We just got here. Me and my brother and my... Huh? I don't know. And this hotel is pretty nice. I thought there'd be two beds, but we only have one bed, but whatever. Um, here's the bed area. And then here is the bathroom. There's a nice little shower. Wait, oh, move out of it. Move! They don't know you're here. <laughs> Calling all calls. Prince, aren't you ready to go in? Gonna swim. <sighs> oh, okay, after eight or nine hours of travel, two flights, we we're finally, yeah, we're finally here in San Francisco. So, um, to explain why I'm here, I won a grant from GLAAD. It's the Rising Star Digital Innovator Award, and um, they're gonna give me some money. There's a luncheon tomorrow. There's a gala um, on Saturday night. So some pretty good events, some really good spaces to network in. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be giving a speech. And they also said, um, if you wanna stay in San Francisco longer, you can stay longer. So um, my brother's gonna leave, I think, on Sunday, and then Nadia and I are gonna stay for a few more days. Um, we found a friend to crash with because Glad isn't going to cover our hotel for all of the nights. But this is already amazing. I can't wait. And we actually have a list of restaurants we want to check out. So stay tuned for more. Is it is it recording? No, you gotta wait. Is, is it, it recording? I think yeah, so. it is. Uh, what up? I'm Brian. I was born first, <laughs> so don't let him try to play you and make you think. He was. It was me. Have I'm, you ever been to San Francisco before? No. But I'm the original. That's the point. Okay. So I came with Ryan to win the, you know, I'm a little bit of a little award and stuff. And we in San Francisco. Oh, wait, that's what I'm like. In San Francisco, at the hotel room, we won one bed. He probably won't see I want to talk to you all about my goals for this trip. Goal number one, hella Tinder matches, hella dates, <laughs> hella D. Two, going shopping. I need to thrift as much as possible. Three, I need to go to Dolores Park again. Smoke, because... That's something I do every single time that I come to San Francisco. Other than that, I don't really know. Network, meet people. Um, I have a friend that I worked with in Seattle who lives in San Francisco. I'm excited to catch up with her. Um, I'm just really excited to be here because San Francisco is one of my favorite cities. And I'm thinking of doing like a little video while I'm here about why I love San Francisco and my very interesting memories here. But those are my goals for this trip. Close to our hotel. So we just finished getting food, and Nadia and my brother are at the mall. I'm not really trying to spend any mall money, so I got my pregame for the night, and I'm heading back to the hotel. Um, ahead of time and we stopped at this like really cool sort of knick-knack shop and the woman working there told us that there's a drag show at Q bar tonight in the Castro and I love the Castro I've been there a few times 
don't really remember that much for reasons I won't tell you right now, but I think we're gonna go there later because if we go to this drag show before 10 p.m., we can get in for free and it's two for one drink night. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, hang out, but um, I've only been here a few hours and I don't know, like San Francisco is interesting because there's such gentrification and so many like white, middle, upper class people moving in. So all these people get pushed out. There's a large homeless population. So there's definitely like a very stark contrast of who lives here comfortably and who is literally on the streets. So it's like weird to come to a place like this and like appreciate how beautiful it is and all of the ritzy stores here. But it's also important to recognize that like that's on the backs of a lot of people that deserve support, deserve services, deserve to have housing and food. So remember that whenever you're going anywhere, especially San Francisco. Who? Here's your food. Why is it so dark in here? What are you doing? Get up! So Nadia's finally awake. Guess how much the orange juice at this damn restaurant we went to was? Guess. Guess. Six dollars. Wait, are you serious? Fresh squeezed orange juice. For what? 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 I just read through my script and I have my script cards here, so I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. Um, I don't know, I met a few people from GLAD and it seems like a really, really great opportunity, so I'm excited for this lunch. Today though, my videos are less about me as a trans person and more about the numerous things that are happening in this country. And with this administration, I have a lot of things to say. <laughs> We're back at the hotel and this luncheon was pretty amazing. I started it off kind of nervous because like you're meeting all these people that are established in their careers, they're doing amazing things. But um, there were some really cool people there, like um, Cat Black. So it was just a really good space to get to know some really cool people. I think we're gonna hang out, but there's a little cocktail party later, and you know how I like my cocktails. <laughs> Hey Two Oak Mines, it is day three here in San Francisco. My brother just headed out because it's early. Um, he's gonna work out and I'm gonna sit here to write. And I just wanted to have some time to reflect for the end of this San Francisco vlog. Um, it's been really cool to be here so far. Um, I've never traveled with my brother and my best friend. And I was kind of saying this last night to some people that I was talking about, at, talking to at some of the GLAAD events. And I was saying that um, it's really cool to not only travel with my brother and my best friend, but to know that um, I can go to this really openly queer city and meet all of these amazing queer, um, non-queer people that are doing amazing work that are connected to GLAAD and really just dig into the culture here because I think this age right now that I'm in, or my 20s, is really when I should be trying to dig into as much as I can. So having the opportunity to be here is amazing. And I just kind of wanted to reflect on what's been going on the last few days. Immediately, I just kind of hop into the events that they want me to do as the Turner um, Visionary Grant recipient. I get to meet some really cool people, met Zeke Thomas, um, met Blair Imani, who was um, interviewed on Fox News and came out as a Muslim queer woman of color. Here's the question, what would, Muslims say in safe spaces that they wouldn't say in public, do you think? Well, I don't speak for all Muslims, and I actually am a, a black queer m woman in, in addition to being a Muslim, um, but... But I believe I met Royce Mann, teenage slam poet who wrote um, a poem called White Boy Privilege. I'll put a link somewhere in here. Um, so the luncheon was great. It was just a very comfortable setting to be able to hear how different queer folks are really doing the work that I think the media or mainstream media isn't, which is seeking representation, and I think like being here more than anything really gets me talking a lot about Two Oak Mines and what I want out of it and what Eli wants out of it and what we kind of aim to do together, which is for me really, like I, I had a speech yesterday at the luncheon where I basically said, I want to create media that I wished I'd seen as a teenager. Um, I grew up in a, a, a family that doesn't understand um, homosexuality, like Jamaica is very homophobic. And it was really, really tough. Like I, 
I'm, I'll probably do a video about my experiences at some point, especially like some of my experiences that I had in Setting Rock as a gay person. But I don't know, like media was really how I figured out who I was and it helped me figure out what I wanted in the world and it helped me see beyond what was immediately around me. So to be recognized as someone who's creating content that can help other people, like that to me is really like what the best part of this whole experience is. And the luncheon was just amazing and I hope to like kind of talk to people more while I'm here. I don't know when certain people are leaving San Francisco, but I feel really grateful to have been invited into that space. I'm a I'm a 23-year-old black kid that grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Like these things don't happen to people like me and the fact that they are just means that maybe if I work hard certain things will work out and that's kind of that goes against really pretty much everything that a black person is taught to really believe in America, but um sometimes you have these moments like this one where I'm here. There was a um uh, an after party for um the luncheon which was at Target Open House. I met this um, gay couple who's been together for 20 years and just talking to them about technology and how that affects queer culture and how it affects dating and romance and really like how their experiences uh, gay men growing up were so different than my own because they didn't have the internet and I did and I think we have to talk about what these experiences are like because otherwise I mean how can we really understand the differences between our generations and how we've grown up and really find ways to help each other as effectively as possible. Yeah, me and me and my brother and best friend have just been walking around eating a lot of good food. So I'm just feeling really re-energized by all of this and I know that the money that Glad is giving me is going to help a lot and I'm really pushing to make as many connections as possible because that's what being here is about. But um, I'm gonna end this vlog because there's gonna be some important stuff happening later today and that might be another vlog. I'm glad you got to be with me for this first part of the San Francisco vlog series. Comment below if you've ever been to San Francisco, if you've ever worked with Glad. Um, tell me if you're queer, if you're POC. I really wanna engage with a lot of queer POC people through YouTube because that's really a large part of the reason why I'm, why I'm here. So see ya on the next one and we're gonna be doing some fancy stuff later today so i'm gonna take you with me as i always do so next time on two oak minds see you soon